Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to test the alpha bake texture I've recently added for Gribble Bake. This is alpha from geometry holes or openings and not from material transparency. I'm using Creative Flow's draw function here to draw shapes in edit mode, where the resulting faces will be removed to create the alpha opening. Here I'm using Quad Slice from Creative Flow, which is also available in Random Flow in the Mesh submenu in Edit Mode. This basically creates edge cuts from vertices in the XY direction to try and quantify planar and gun faces. Although the randomization from Random Flow can also work with triangles, it is best used for quad faces. So I'm going to quantify these tries by adding edge cuts. I've decided to use Random Loop Extrude to create the gribble detail. This creates multiple objects whose panel island size, pattern, shading, and subdivision you can modify to generate its unique randomized look. Select everything and set the bake origin object from the selection using the bake origin text box. Okay, it's time to bake, turning on depth and alpha. The margin property is the bake margin and I've set it to work only for normal, AO and depth, but will be zero for the alpha texture. Okay, first result looks weird, and that's because the bake to plane created by the script is by default just a square plane. We need to turn on conform shape, so the bake to plane cap is the dimension of the bake origin object. So we now have the alpha, AO, depth, and normal. Time to set them all in a material shader. Here, I just duplicated the bake origin object and created the material setup, but this was a mistake since the alpha texture needed to be tested on an actual face. A good thing about the depth or displacement map is that you can also use it as a base diffuse texture. Okay, the material is mostly done, so I'm rectifying my mistake and actually making a geometry to test the alpha texture.
Just connect the alpha output of the image texture node to the alpha input of your material shader. Okay, let's try the displacement via the displacement modifier. This can also work with the material shader nodes in cycles, but both needs additional resolution for the displacement to actually look good. And that's it for this video. Once released to the store, I will be sending emails to previous customers where they can purchase a Gribble Bake and possibly a time-gated sale price as well. If you have any questions, use the comment section below or the links in the description. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.